<laughs> Ohio State. I really and honestly was just about to make a video about Ohio State on how they have done such a fantastic job of accumulating talent, how people are coming back, how I believe this team is honestly in a position to where they will be a force to be reckoned with and honestly should be in everyone's top four. But now I really don't know if that is the same. They go out and hire none other than Bill O'Brien. But before we get into this, guys, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are on the way to 1,000 subscribers. It really would help me a lot because then I can be monetized on YouTube, baby. Anyways, let's get into the video. So I initially saw this news by none other than Pete Thamel, and we're going to look at it in its entirety. Here goes the tweet. Source, Ohio State is set to hire longtime NFL head coach Bill O'Brien as the school's new offensive coordinator. O'Brien served last season as the Patriots offense coordinator in 2023. We saw how that debacle went down. Mac Jones had no chance and Zappi was not zapping at all and has been the head coach at the Texans and in the Big Ten at Penn State where he traded away DeAndre Hopkins for a bag of chips. And now we all understand why I believe that this hire is horrible. Let's scroll down. Pete Thamel has said this is the reason why Ohio State brought him in. The move comes with a potential shift within the OSU program as head coach Ryan Day has spent part of this offseason exploring bringing in an experienced coordinator that will allow him to give up play calling duties, which in of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. But at the same time, you decide to bring on a Bill O'Brien who has time and time again shown that maybe just maybe he is not the right guy for this job now there are some numbers that i'm seeing on pete thamel's twitter that i honestly believe are misleading now numbers don't lie but they don't tell the full story just reading the end of this tweet it says young won the heisman award in 2021 under o'brien and alabama finished in the top 10 in both o'brien seasons at oc averaging 39.9 and 41.1 per game but as an alabama fan any of us can tell you right now that had nothing to do with the creativity that bill o'brien's offense brought to the table because the creativity was non-existent a lot of that was because great players do great things now ohio state has some great players but at the same time the offense is going to look stale unless he brings something new to the table this time around and right now to be honest with you the biggest question mark at ohio state is obviously your head coach because I feel like time after time, Ohio State has had some of the best talent in the country. But this team continues to fall short because you have a guy who does not necessarily know how to put his guys in position to win the big game. Of course, he can go, what, 10 and 2, 11 and 1, and have a great season, but then he'll lose to the likes of a Michigan and he'll lose in the playoffs why he does not do a good job at motivating and getting his guys ready talent wins those games and ohio state the brand is one of the best in the country and now you bring on a guy like bill o'brien to call plays a guy in my honest opinion that has been carried by talent that he has coached look at a deshaun watson in the offense that he had there was a lot of freestyle within that running for his life scrambling throwing deep passes to none other than who DeAndre Hopkins and he also had a fantastic season after D Hop left but the offense was still Deshaun Watson a bust there's a reason he's not with the Texans anymore there's a reason he's not going to be with the Patriots anymore and there's a reason why he continues to go from job to job he's just not that good and so I mean come on Ohio State what do you think now I could be wrong about this entire situation but nothing that happened with the Patriots this season would make me look at Bill O'Brien and say hey you should come and call plays as the offense coordinator with the additions of Will Howard and Quinshawn Jenkins I honestly believe that Ohio State will be a force to be reckoned with despite the fact that you have just made a hire that I honestly think was a bad decision will we eat our words later maybe because at the end of the day the players play the game the coaches set the players up 
to be in the position to succeed and hopefully just hopefully if you're an ohio state fan bill o'brien does not mess that up for you ohio state fans let me know what you think about this down below i don't know how to feel about this for you I don't think it's a good hire. I think some things may happen. You may question some things. Your offense is going to be very stale and non-dynamic. And hopefully your players can overcome that the same way Alabama was able to put up those numbers. Let me know what you think. Because most of that offense, when Bryce Young was there, was Bryce Young a bust. Nothing else worked. <laughs>